Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Empires of the Undergrowth, episode number six, and we'll be moving on to A Bridge Too Far. I actually feel like this one's easier than A Cold Blood now that I've played it a little bit. Tried to get the start just to see if it was, uh, I don't know, things were going okay. So we're playing on medium even though it's a little bit easier uh, because I don't want to have to restart four times like I did last time. That's not what I want. Okie dokie, let's go. This fire ant queen has traveled for miles on her nuptial flight, finally landing atop a sandy mound deep in the swamp. The vantage point might seem like an ideal home, but it may be short-lived. This whole area is liable to flooding, and nearby rainfall is already causing the groundwater to rise. Exhausted and without her wings, the queen is unable to move on alone. But if she can amass enough daughters in time, the colony as a whole may stand a chance. Um, the trick at the beginning that I always forget is to make sure you have 7 out of 7 for your workers first, otherwise gathering doesn't really matter. And I have a hard time remembering that. But now that they're gathering, we have a, a good little economy going. And we're going to get four. Uh, really, almost before any of these guys even hatch. Take all that down. So just keep gathering down here as quickly as you can. But without missions, the workers will like do very valuable things like get the eggs to hatch and all that. Starting to gather a good number. Probably ready for the surface. Many nearby creatures have already been washed out of their homes by the rising water. A lucky few have been deposited on the shores east of the nest. As more arrive, tensions will rise. There isn't space here for everyone. A great blue skimmer, Libelula vibrans, hunts overhead. This fantastic aerial predator shouldn't cause any trouble for the ants. That is, unless it decides to land in their way. Food is abundant, but as the flood water begins to rise, the ants will quickly lose access to the lower lands. That's a really tough balance in the very beginning to try to make sure as soon as you have food you're getting another person because it the snowball effect of the one extra is very 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 high and right now when we're not doing anything i almost almost should have just get another row of food too. uh sent off my workers together as well but this is 13 it's not a lot let's get some more Okay, when that's done, start doing a little bit more work over here. And they're done. It's very important to know when they're done. <laughs> Oftentimes I don't know, and then it's like, oh, wow, why are we not getting food suddenly? Well... 
because there's no food left to get. We're doing okay. Still doing good. It's probably time after these guys hatch. This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Yeah, I think after these guys hatch, we're, we're off. We're going down. Okay, let's go. Let's make the journey. And we should turn off food, but I won't do it right away. But we won't actually even want food gathering on for that long trek. And while they're doing that, we can expand the ranks over here quite a lot. Um, get all this harvested out. That entire line, I guess. That. Okay, and how are they doing? Oh, the food, that's what I wanted An to avoid. It found itself entangled on the sticky tentacle of a dwarf sundew. As it tries to struggle free, more tentacles are drawn in, drowning the victim in thick mucilage. All I want from here is to gather some aphids. The ants must defend themselves. Oh no. <laughs> it's almost dead, too. Anyway, we're technically the under attack. The earth at the base of the mound is now saturated, and as night approaches, the water begins to creep closer. The new arrivals will rush to higher ground, heading straight for the nest. There is nowhere else to go. So we're going to wait for the um, invaders. Oh god, right here. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. The queen is in imminent danger. Maybe we'll be okay, maybe not. Was it worth it for the aphids? I think yes. And gather food now that we're past that tricky area. Well, we can actually defend at the top, even. It might be better to defend in the nest, though. Just wait right when they come out, ambush them. <laughs> That's perfect, Amongst in my opinion. Amongst the melee of panicking creatures are larvae of the false bombardier beetle. Already large and accomplished predators, they will hold their ground against small groups of ants. We can come up and kill these guys at the top. And the question is where to go from there. I think we'll try to get these pine cones. It's a little bit difficult. We'll maybe go down here first. Alright, let's go take this stuff and make sure that we are still building up. More, more, more. So these, we'll go into the drink. We just have to be careful about that. You know, not trying to gather those. But this is something, getting this cow caterpillars. This is next, but we'll have to turn off food gathering to get to it. Because uh, they will go into the stem right here. The inundation has slowed, and fewer creatures are washing up to the east. The ants have an opportunity to explore for food, but there are other dangers at night. Moist-skinned amphibians have come out to take advantage of this new water world, harvesting lost insects displaced from their burrows. So we'll do the same thing, we'll just gather some people, then we'll move over here, try to get some of the pinecone, and then move on. Oh, we got these guys, okay. 
We just get these three. I don't know if they'll make it even, and then we'll pull back from that. Other harvesting grounds. Anything else? Yeah, they did not make A it. Turns out. Woods tree frog, Gila femoralis. Oh yeah, we can go down here. Into the trail. This one has taken a break from mate calling for a quick meal, and it seems that ants are on the menu. I thought that this guy attacks us, but I guess not. We can always go and take that guy out, but maybe not right away. The ants must fight. Oh. Full on food. The workers have done all they can to improve these food stores. I really didn't need to upgrade, guys. I just panicked. No, I was <laughs> out of, you know, food was maxed, which is never good. Let's go back over here. Maybe go over here, too. Plenty of food up there. Yeah, the tricky thing about this is to know exactly what is accessible and what is not in the very beginning part of it. Yeah, it's good. Like that, and that we already gathered a lot of that. Maybe we'll come down here. And we can also start getting a second colony somewhere. Not that, but an ant has fallen victim to a carnivorous plant. Ah, bummer. Sometimes they do that, but usually not. This is very scary when you see this big <laughs> area that's all carved out. The ants will fight to the death. Fight to the death? Where? Oh, it was just that one guy. But now we can go over here and take this, which is good. It's a nice little reprieve. Oh, well that's dangerous. Very dangerous. Oh, okay, he's going that way, then. Let's not bother with him. Maybe let's not bother with him. I don't even know. Maybe we will. Okay, I got it. Okay, good. <clears throat> A lot of micromanagement in this mission, in my opinion. Maybe too much. Alright, what are we doing here? Start our second group can't get to that can't get to that can't get to that. oh wait we can get to that okay cool now it's time I think we can get to this one too there's only three left but it takes a lot of individuals to get there so I think what we'll do is just have the whole group rally over there and then the second group will be in charge of this one, which is always my, my game plan. Make sure that the first group can uh, do the attacking and all that, and the second group will be in charge of this. I'll make sure my food supply stuff is all good as well. Make sure we have enough storage. I think this, this will be sufficient. Hmm, I can see that they're stuck on the on the caterpillars here. Right, give me this one as well. The ants must fight. Oh god. I don't know, we need we need that. We need the Oh, they can't get up there. Well, joke's on me. We need the tide to rise actually. Oh no, we can! We're crossing the water. You just can't see it. I mean, this is the problem that this guy is just going to kill everyone, and we're gathering food. <sighs> Water's going to rise now anyway, so we're just going to have to abandon this effort. Don't gather food, and don't even go down there. Okay. 
Who's gonna even survive this? I don't know. Well, you two? Oh, he, oh, he didn't make it. That's not fair. His food survived. How did he not survive? All right, well, let's go down here and try to take what's left of the army of stuff we just lost. Quite a bummer. But at least we have some aphids <laughs> that we're harvesting continually. And we go down here Continued and take this. Rainfall is about to bring another torrent flushing through the bog, carrying with it a slew of ill-tempered arthropods. I was wondering why they weren't gathering food. Well, it's because I had food turn gathering turned off. That'll do it. Oh my god. The ants must fight. Well, we gotta kill this thing. It's just it's gonna be a disaster if we don't. Oh, finally we're gonna get him. Okay, fine. I'll go back over here. And we'll end up over here eventually, but tricky. Always tricky. Are we is this successful now? Not yet. You can't eventually go over and attack the other island. With all of the ants over there. But not yet. Once they gather enough here, then turn off food gathering. Predators are loose in the nest. Uh oh. The larvae must be protected. Okay, two of you guys deal with that because it's pretty small. And have these guys. Uh oh. I hope that that doesn't show up. It did. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Well, not ideal. I think we'll, we'll kill it. Good. Mike over here and enable food. Why are these ding dongs are going up? Go into the pine shell. Ant has fallen victim to a carnivorous plant. Worst case scenario, at least eat this thing. Jeez. See how many of these ding dongs get in the drink. Ah, oh, that's pretty good. Alright, that's actually sufficient in my opinion. We can call that one good enough. It's plenty, actually, in my opinion. Alright, two is defending something instead of gathering. See? It's just micromanagement. Got to keep on all these tasks. And this game does not require a lot of micromanagement, but it still requires some, right? You just can't be stupid about things like I was there. Leaving stuff that obviously should be taken care of, untaken care of. We have one here. I think we'll move over as well once one comes down here. That wasp is probably going to get us at some point, but there's a pine cone here with 300, so that's the next step, I think. Looks like she, oh, I was about to say is still okay, but is not. She pivots on a dime too. Well, let's gather our strength before we get the beetle. So let's go kill this thing. And then once we're ready, we'll all traverse down together. Two is still gathering here. That's good. Two can make little runs over. Run up to the top and then gather more food. I'm not sure what other stuff we're supposed to be gathering at this stage. Not sure, not sure. Okay, let's go in now. The good news is that when we attack these little salients, we're actually diminishing the amount of work we're going to have to do for ourselves later. Like, we could come down here and we could take on that beetle. And you know what? Group number two is not doing anything. Maybe we'll do it. Group two has 22. That's not enough, so let's get 
Maybe another row. I think another row. The ants must fight. All right. Well, that almost went okay, but it did not. I guess the guy came right at the very end when we're already, uh... Nah, damn it. They're gonna attack in a second anyways, let's just regroup, let them come up. See, we're already there to... They're already gonna do their attack, and oh god, don't kill us. So when they do their attack, we're already ready for them. Could just wait for them to come up to us, it would've been easier to haul the food back, I guess. Come over here and do that, I guess. Just for the moment. 200 food as well, so time to expand. What do we got? 28 in this one. I think that we need more than that. With nowhere to drain, the floodwater creeps ever nearer to the nest. Already cramped and irritated, a panic ensues, and the refugees scramble for higher ground. Here we go. He used his stun, thankfully. And we'll do this as well. We'll actually come down and take those pine cones. So I assume that that will be a victory, and it is. And we can go over here and get that food. This one's a little trickier because people are going to go into the carnivorous plants. And oh my gosh, we're actually out of time. Uh, has fallen victim to a carnivorous plant. Maybe get that 125 and then come back. 18. I keep losing ants, being a little too greedy. So let's just do it this way. Yeah, that, well, that should be fine. I think that that's not going to flood us. Let's back up just in case. Okay, he was close. But, okay, good. Turn off food gathering, try to lose as few people as possible doing that. All right. Water rising means somewhere new is available. And I see this is available. Let's go gather that. And let's make sure that we are getting a lot of people together. Um, in fact, I kind of want people to come back down here so we can expand upon this, so we can build more things. Predators are loose in the nest. Yeah, the larvae just like must this. be protected. Okay, let's do that. Um, and we're full, so let's just start upgrading group one. They'll be my combat group. Which I think we will need at some point. one. Okay, two, you uh, maybe need to do something else. Okay, that one's not accessible. Is this one accessible yet? What about that one is now underwater, so I missed my window of opportunity there apparently. That one's gone, and that one's, okay, here we go. Uh, we gotta go here. And I think both people are gonna be needed for this. Let's just move out with everyone. And I see it's time for us to get news another. Of the insect feast has spread across the swamp. With growing numbers of amphibians patrolling the waters, the Invictus scavenging expeditions will need to be well defended. Okay, well defended. I, I don't know what that means because we're not, but we can pretend. Ooh, wow, that, was, that, that does look bad. All right. Turn off. A colony of little black ants marooned on a smaller section of the mound may be reachable if the fire ants join together to bridge the gap. First we'll do this. Not sure why these guys go back. It's the wrong way, buddy. Really, I think we're going to have to just get more. Three, three, two. At 
This one, these is guys. The mute Notophalmus viridations is uh -oh. devouring ants. Growing up to 10 centimeters in length, it dwarfs other creatures on the mound. Its red skin is toxic and serves as a warning to potential predators. Kind of bugged him out there for a second. I guess he doesn't like people biting him on his back. Don't blame him, by the way. Let's turn off food gathering and just get across. That way I can get the aphids, five of them. And group three is gathering that, perfect. And maybe I need to upgrade these guys a little bit more. Pretty good though. They're about to go into battle. All right, once we have that, we'll roll back and we'll move. Where do you need to, oh, it's right here. Okay, cool. Oh no! Just fight. Just don't, don't fight. <laughs> Just don't fight. We don't need that. We got the aphids, that's all we need. So far away. So we're gonna want two to lead the charge so that they can hold down the fort while the one crosses. And then once one gets in there, they're the fighting group anyway, so I hope that they are a little bit more successful in combat. We're already halfway to the population we need, so you can see that medium is probably too easy and that I should have done something a little more difficult. Okay, here we go. Go get the aphids first. And anybody else who comes from group two can also come up here and help. We'll keep gathering over here. In fact, we probably need these guys to to off their aphid duty just to help out, which means that ironically I might need to upgrade them so that they're capable of helping out. The ants will fight to the death. Okay, yeah, well we got pretty far already. It is our level two guys. Oh no, that's their level two guys. We do a lot of damage, but oh they got a level three guy even. Our Stunning me, yeah, killing me. It might behoove us just to go in and kill the queen first. If we can, man, this is not looking good, but let's get three over there. Ah, they wiped me out. Okay, first of all, don't gather food. Nobody gather food. Alright, here we go. Take two. This poor guy's holding this bridge are like, are you what the hell is going on here? The battle has been Wow, dude, it's right there. Gotta kill it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. I think this is pretty risky. Alright, let's go. Let's get off that island. Um, let's also not fight. Will we make it? Probably not. This was a disaster. Total disaster. 89. They're all dead. <laughs> well, that was a total disaster. Indeed, it truly was. But it looks like I managed to get at least 10 
Oh my goodness. We have no food. It's gonna, that's gonna take a while to earn that back. Alright, send group three down here. As the water draws ever nearer, more insects begin to wash up on the bank. The Invicta colony must maintain control or risk being overrun. Yep. Okay, that's more aphids. We actually got them this time. Um, two, three. I think we don't need anything more. We already got them. So let's retreat back. What's up for us next? Can we get here? We can. Okay, that's the next operation then. Let's use our... Now that we have funds again, let's get some more. Oh no. I kill him. All his ants sting him. He's off map. Where's he going? Is he on map? I don't know. Well, it doesn't really matter. Let's get our food over here, and these guys are still there, which is good. I don't know. I would say this has not been an overwhelming success. <laughs> Start this one over here, sure. Well, what's next? Can't get to that. Can't get to that. I think we should go down and take care of these guys, then not the herd here. Okay, he sprayed already. And go for him. Then back up again. Just thin him out, I guess. This is a lot, that's what I'm a little worried about. So if we're only attacked from one side, at least there's some hope. Alright, I think at this point we can go all the way in. Oh god. Well that didn't that happened. I don't think there's anything else for us to get though, right? Is there? Perhaps the next place we should look is underground, though. Oh, this one! Oh, okay, next next water level, it'll be there. Alright, got three down Again, here. The floodwaters rise. The washed up invertebrates panic, and a stampede ensues. The Invicta soldiers must form ranks quickly. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. Took care of everyone down there, which means that this is more or less a simple matter. Have t one go that way, two go this way. I just want to unlock all this stuff. Sorry, go one, go back, get that last little thing. Probably need a couple more workers. Let's 
leave one, uh, three up there, and one and two can go down here. I'll keep them busy for a while. I want to upgrade two, so two people will be my next combat group. All right, what's next? Okay, now, no, oh, no, yeah. Okay, good. Now let's go get that. Send two as well. Could be problematic, but we'll see. Let's stop gathering food just so we can get the aphids first, and then on the way back we can start gathering food. That's what makes sense to me, at least. Uh, that got good. So let's get these guys as four. Group four can take over this. Group three can help out with this. I don't think we need to, but moral support. That's enough. Okay, good. So one, two, and three is also there. Let's forget about that. The Monomorium Black Ant Colony is soon to be flooded. This is the Fire Ant's last chance to raid their nest. Oh my gosh, they weren't... There was another way. There was another way. Okay, well you know what? Hey, I'm, I'm down with that. Oh. I'm still down. Let's do it. Yeah, four is gonna be gathering and dealing with some stuff, I guess. <laughs> Spiders included. Are gonna be able to handle that? Hope so. Alright. Oh my god, there's lots of bad stuff over here. Uh, luckily we're okay. Okay, do that. Um, what else do we need? We have food. Let's start upgrading these guys as well, which we started to do. That'll make two at least more formidable. We already got their aphids at least, so hey, there's that. So I don't know if there's a good... Oh god, no. There's no reason to do this. We're just blocking him. <laughs> Don't come up. Yeah, you know what? Let the colony be flooded. I say I bequeath them. Oh god, yeah. Here we go. A happy life. Might be a bit painful for them in the end, but... Happy life. Alright. So, let's work on population growth then. Feel like we need to really mess with that. This looks good though. Free food. Sure, I'll take that. As if the colony didn't already have enough oh. to deal with, the great blue skimmer has chosen this moment okay. to touch down right outside the nest. Was Unchecked, unexpected, but this boy. titan of the sky will no doubt disrupt colony activities. But if the soldiers are able to bring him down, the rewards could be mighty. Wow. Um, we're after a sustained it. assault from the fire ants, the skimmer's stamina is beginning to wane. He leaps away from battle and prepares to take off. If the ants want to prevent his escape, they will need to act quickly. Well, not ideal. His to... wings weighted down with fire ants, the skimmer no longer has the strength to take off. Got him. Crippled by relentless stings, the great skimmer's attempts to flee became ever more futile. Finally collapsing atop the mound, he succumbs to the fire ants. Dismemberment will follow. All right, three is only a 29. Let's get more than that. And then this one is at 23, so it needs a lot more. And you need to be level two, just so I have two combat groups. 
I don't really need it in population. Oh. Ants must defend themselves. I don't want them close to that because we'll just lose people. All right, here you go. Perfect. It's good enough, I should say. Probably a little bit annoyed that I chose this, but it's your decision. It wasn't mine. I guess we could go down and anger that guy as well. Just piss everyone off. But I think we're doing good. I, I, I'm not too panicked about accomplishing our mission. Oh, okay. Well, that happened. And I sent four off, but let's let four stick around. Yeah, we are pretty strong, turns out. Can't gather from any of these things. Oh! We could still go over here. After all of that. We really don't need to, but I think it'd be fun. We'll probably see the water rising as we get there. But we are in such good shape that I think it's okay. Let's have some fun. Oh, water rising. Okay. Goodbye, colony. There are intruders in the nest. The pond continues to swell. Finally drowning the Monomorium colony. The fire ants watch as it sinks into the murky depths, foreshadowing their own demise. So we gotta do a weird thing here, I guess. We gotta turn off food gathering, otherwise they'll just kill themselves. And then we can turn it back on only when we got a collection of everyone over here. That makes sense, though. We could do that. Everyone in groups one and two is upgraded now. They're all level two, so that means group three. Where are you? Oh, these guys. Lucky number three. Very close to the population we need. All right, let's go ahead and gather. You're gonna have to go help number four. And gather all that food too. All right. Well, creatures will attack in 24 seconds, but essentially, as soon as we finish, oh, a little bit more, we'll have enough. Any second now, I swear, here it comes. So no creatures are even going to attack us, which is nice. But then water will rise. Ah, we have enough. Okay, good. So we can finish the mission. It's been nice, but. I won't miss it. Not my favorite mission. It's interesting Another in some ways. Advances, spreading a desperate frenzy throughout the beached survivors. The Invicta colony must leave now or prepare their last stand. We gotta see the queen float down the river.
By joining their bodies together to form a giant raft, the fire ants were able to ferry the queen from the mound just as the nest filled with water. Their perils are not over, but they've shown great resilience and an ability to survive in this harsh environment. Wherever they land, the creatures of the swamp will quickly come to know the might of the fire ants. Awesome. We'll take the extra royal jelly. I knew it. I knew it. With the proper exposure and stimulation, the mutation possibilities are boundless. The potential for amalgamation, which is, of course, an epistatic effect owing to increased cytoplasmic facidity. In what the... are you doing? Mm -hmm. Preparing the report. Can you not do it quietly? Perhaps try using the keyboard? The keyboard? How quaint. Ugh. Okay, we are ready for the final event. Um, I have gone and played 4.1 again, done the challenge with it, and I played 4.2 as well, also defeated the challenge, both on medium difficulty still. I actually played both of these as the Vigorous to try to get a better view for how it would go with them. I was able to complete both of them. I felt like my familiarity with the level was just going up and up, and I could probably, I actually did one of these. Which one was it, Cold Blood? No, it was a bridge too far. I did two more times. Um, one with Vigorous and one with Pervasive, and I think that Pervasive is still the better choice. Uh, no, it was Cold Blood. Cold Blood, I, I really did s feel the difference. Um, Vigorous is very good, by the way. It is, it's not a bad thing, but I feel like probably Pervasive is better on these levels. Now, we have a lot of uh, adaptation points available to be spent. Most importantly, we really got to do the leaf cutters because right now they're probably my main damage dealer. They're probably my main everything. They're just, I'm okay. A damage dealer might go to the ranged units, but these guys are very ultra important. And I think I'm going to do just 10 points each. It's kind of like a safe option. Takes up their health to 410. Not that big of an increase. 5% again, I mean, just 5% damage and venom were just, I actually think maybe I'll do... 15 into Venom um, Because we have our 20. I'll just go to 10% 10, 10 total Venom. I don't know what creatures we're gonna be fighting. I don't know how all the mechanics work And honestly, I think that even though it's gonna be a bit expensive. We're at 3900 now. Let's get a little bit of attack speed as well Yeah, that was pretty expensive, but I'm gonna go ahead and just straight up confirm this We have a lot of damage reduction on these guys. So they should survive a lot we also, um, I want to go up in range, maybe just a couple more points, three, let's go up five more here. So we have a total attack speed of 10% increase, that's great, and a little bit of range, just a tiny bit, I don't really think we need more than that. In fact, I'll just make it 12. We'll confirm. Um, Black Ants, I kind of see these guys as just pure DPS underneath the Majors, who are still probably going to be doing a lot more. So my view for them is just get piercing maybe 20 of this but piercing has still got to do some damage so we'll increase their attack damage by 10 as well and that's pretty expensive but we have a, i mean we still got it and we, you know what let's give our workers better movement i'll just put all 20 dump 20 points into this um, so that they can go around this is actually good because we want them to go around and repopulate the eggs and all that i should show you what my base looks like right now we have um, a pile of 34 majors. We have 29 additional majors broken up into two groups so I can control them more easily. They, each of these is sporting a group of 19 black ants as their like DPS assist. I have two groups, a big one of the wood ants, the main range dealers, and then I have a, a secondary group which with more to expand. I have 3,500 food and I think that's going to be enough. I don't think I'm going to even increase that. So we're good to go. Um, and now we do the final experiment right from here. We'll do it on hard and we'll begin. They're about to start the Glaber trials at Site B. Are you coming? Oh, uh, uh no. Mole rats, not really my area of interest. Uh, besides, this report won't write itself. Nose to the grindstone, shoulder to the wheel. Busy, busy, busy. Right, well, I'll be back in an hour then. No need to rush. 
I have everything quite in hand. Oh boy. Unfortunately, we're still waiting on apparatus critical to the final experiment. But fate has presented us an opportunity, and this we must take. There's plenty to get started with for now. We'll need specimens, transposition canisters, towels, scalpels, mm, glycerol, my trusty curette, and of course, jelly. So, my enduring raptors, we've witnessed your proficiency for resisting natural predators, but what about the unnatural? After all, our work with the counterparts barely scratched the surface. Even on incompatible subjects, the effects of the jelly are remarkable. It may not look very pretty, nor indeed live longer than a day, but for our purposes, it's perfect. May I present to you my most armored hybrid, the Hermit Scorpion. <laughs> Okay, well, let's get to it then. Ants climbing onto the Hermit Scorpion's shell and attacking it will weaken it, causing it to release its stinger sooner. Consider lowering its health first before enabling enemy mounting. Yep, that's a good idea. Enemy mounting is not permitted. And our range units are just going to do a ton of damage to this guy. Okay, let's go in. Like water on rock, the eruptors crash against the hybrid. How many will fall? Perhaps them all. Look at that damage. The eruptors attack the shell. Do they not know it lies within? Yes! The stinger opens and it's functional. Go, my furious hybrid spike the ants. Spike Lots of venom in this one. Hermit Scorpion. Hmm. We might have killed it too quickly. No matter, every stimulation spurs the permutations. Perhaps a more elaborate test to follow. Something to provoke a creative response. Now, do we want raptorial forelegs or pedipalps? Forelegs or pedipalps? Ah, oh, silly me. If we want both, of course. This guy's hilarious. No, don't do that. That's your sister. No, no, no. Right, we're keeping you two apart. Oh, no. Is the whip mantis being nasty? Get underground. Why? Why, you ask? I want group four not to fight, but to go over here. Come on. Okay, go, go, go. The trick is, of course, to get them to fight each other. 90,000, 20,000. There we go. Yes, clever little ants. Work smarter, not harder. So this is a praying mantis with uh, the whip spider arms, and this is a, what is it? The twins. Uh, they're going off to their corners now at half health, so now we have to fight them. And fight them we will. Get on with it. Get on with it. I guess it helps that I enable <laughs> damage. <laughs> Only one remains. Kill it. 
Still doing good on food. The... I think without a doubt, taking the uh, shock max damage 20 is absolutely... Oh my god, but the, the poison damage is insane. The extra range is apparently helping. We're outside the range of them. I think that just went very well. Wonderful! Both champions bested! The caustic scent of Himalim filling the arena. <laughs> Can you smell it? What's going on in there? Uh, Open the door! What's she doing back? We need more time. I'm sorry, there's been a containment uh, con contamination. What are you talking about? Set the spider to the fly. You're witty and you're wise. How handsome are your gauzy wings? How brilliant are your eyes? Where's your hand, that? There's no contamination. Yes, yes, in. contamination, yes. And it lives. Uh, I have to say, I do my best work under pressure. In you go. <laughs> Open the door this instant, or I'll have you escorted from the building. Open the door, no problem. I'm on my way. <laughs> right. That's it. Can I have a security team on the sixth floor, please? It's using its wings. Incredible. No, it does it a slow to react. Perhaps we served a few too many synapses. Have you noticed that, my retin? Go on in. Get on him. Wow. When we start doing damage, we really start doing damage. Here. I need this door opening and that man removed. Yes! Defeated! Oh, if only we could finish now, but we must be patient. You'll have to stay in here for now where they won't find you. Don't give up. I'll be back soon. What is the meaning of this? Get him out of here. It's okay. I just need to escort you off site. Absolutely on. unacceptable. You'll be hearing from my union representative. Okay, don't say. But Sorry. see, that is the spot, my friend. Oh, I hope those cameras are recording. Come on, you're all in trouble. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's the, the it's really good. Uh that mission was not difficult for us because I think we have chosen things intelligently enough that we probably could have gone something even harder than hard. With the scientists removed from the site and resources dwindling, it may be time to accept the colony's fate. Select passage of time from this. Why did he lock the door? Huh. Select passage of time from the level selection menu to see what becomes of the colony. You will no longer be able to replay Formicarium Challenge 4. Okay, well, I think in this case it doesn't matter if we want to replay or not. Although, you know, it's I guess it would be nice if there was save games in this. You can save your form Aquarium, but it's a one it's like an Iron Man type situation. Only one save. We'll have to do the next one, the challenge. Um that's gonna happen next time, passage of time, so we'll call the video to a close here. Thanks for watching, and until the next one when we get into the new content, take care.